I'm Otis Jr. and this is WFPK Music News. Elliott Smith's self-titled sophomore LP recently saw its 25th anniversary and Kill Rock stars made sure to make it a celebration with the deluxe remastered reissue. Larry Crane, the official Smith Family Archivist, was determined to make the most of the remaster, pulling recordings from reels, cassettes, files, and tapes to bring new life to the 25-year-old recordings. The new release also features Live at Umbra Penumbra, the previously unreleased and earliest known recording of Smith playing a solo acoustic set. The physical release includes a 52-page coffee table book with handwritten lyrics, unreleased images, and more. The 25th anniversary deluxe reissue of Elliott Smith is now streaming everywhere. We may not have heard from the indie band The National in a while, but its members have all had projects to keep them occupied. Frontman Matt Berninger has his debut solo record on the way, and brothers Aaron and Bryce Desner recently helped Taylor Swift bring her folklore LP to life. Now drummer Brian Devendorf has surprise released his debut solo record, Royal Green. The 8-track collection features new original tunes and a handful of covers, including Fleetwood Mac's Dreams and the Beatles' Baby You're a Rich Man. You can stream Royal Green now. Moses Sumney has just released a fresh performance of his song, Bless Me. Sumney reimagined an idea he had planned as a museum installation for the new abstract live performance filmed at his home in Asheville, North Carolina. Using the Microsoft Azure Connect software, he collaborated with Sam Cannon to utilize sensors to record his body movements and implement abstract 3D animation into the recording. Now available on his YouTube channel, Sumney describes it as an experiential piece exploring isolation and solitude. I'm Otis Jr. and this is WFPK Music News. For more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you don't miss a beat.